evening. Yes, good morning. Yes, uh, I was wondering who uh, can I talk to? Uh, On who? the complaint line? Yes. CBS program information. Oh, yeah, hello. Uh, I was uh, calling to express my disgust at the halftime presentation of the Super Bowl. I mean, what on God's green earth was that bullshit? I mean, I thought the Super Bowl was supposed to be a family affair. I had my grandchildren all gathered around the TV for a wholesome evening of football and fun, and I get a goddamn strip show. CBS apologizes. We did not intend to offend anyone. It was completely unrehearsed and unscheduled, and CBS was not aware of this. Uh, oh, I, I ain't buying that. I, mean, I, I just don't get it. I mean, I, I don't mind a little of that rap music now and then, but... You got that Nelly character, and he's he's grabbing his dick the whole time he's singing. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's a real laugh riot, isn't it? A black guy grabbing his dick on national TV. Sir, I'm not sure exactly uh, what, the, what the situation with Nelly was. We have yet to receive any complaints about that. Oh, uh, bullshit. You ain't received a complaint about something. I counted. I, I TiVo'd it, and I counted. He grabbed his dick 27 times sir, in one song. we are going to do everything we can in the future to make sure this is not happening again. I mean, seriously, if you had advertised it as the big black Dick grabbing Super Bowl halftime spectacular. At least people would have been Sir, forewarned. We apologize if you're offended. Listen, listen, just man to man. I mean, w- would you want your daughter watching a big black rapper repeatedly grabbing his dick live on the plasma flat screen TV? Of course not, sir. I understand well, where you're I coming think, from. Well, you've just made my point for me. Tell me, where was the redeeming uh, social value in this halftime show? Well, we tried to put together the most eclectic group of popular stars with with both adults and both with children, and uh, we tried to get the best group we could together. Listen, you got Kid Rock out there disrespecting the American flag. I mean, I went to war for this country, and you got Kid Rock using the flag as a fucking poncho. Sir, your complaint has been registered. And all Janet Jackson's backup dancers, what was up with that? They were wearing bustiers and thongs, and they were all dudes. (laughs) Why why do we need a transvestite halftime show? Uh, sir, I, 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 I cannot account for what Ms. Jackson uh, has her backup dancers wearing. Uh, all I know is they put on a very good show. Uh, well, yeah, well, well, I bet you liked that, didn't you, boy? <laughs> you <Yeah>, queer. <laughs> it was a good show up until the point when Ms. Jackson exposed her breast, which uh, we immediately tried to divide the cameras as quickly as we could uh, to avoid any more... Uh, Right, right, right. I mean, yeah, tell me more. I mean, it, what is CBS coming to? I mean, is, is Ray Romano going to whip out his dick in the next episode of Everybody Loves Raymond? <laughs> now, now I know why everybody loves Raymond. He's got a 12-inch cock. Program information. Look, good luck, buddy. I mean, I just think CBS misrepresented uh, themselves in the halftime show. I mean, I, I don't I don't think you advertise this like the big smut show it was. And then to have the audacity to bear a woman's breast on national TV. I mean, am I watching the Super Bowl or a fucking episode of Girls Gone Wild? Sir, once again, CBS apologized if you were offended. And then you, to, to claim that it was unintentional. I mean, what kind of fucking rube do you think I am? Come on, that kind of shit doesn't happen unintentionally. I mean, that's like me saying, you know, just the other day I was in the Piggly Wiggly and I was reaching for my wallet and accidentally, due to a wardrobe malfunction, the secret tearaway flap on my jeans came off and my nutsack plopped out. I mean, it's just not believable. Sir, uh, again, I apologize. Your complaint's been registered, it's been noted, and uh, I really need to get back to work. Well, your apology doesn't help my granddaughter. I mean, naked tits, transvestites, crotch grabbing, and, and Justin Timberlake grinding his penis on Janice Jackson's backside. I mean, that was just plain nasty. Sir, I sir. Mean, my seven-year-old granddaughter asked me, Granddaddy, what's he doing to her? And I gotta say, well, why don't you know, little Susie? He's dry-fucking her. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, why, why couldn't CBS just be honest, at least? if they had been truthful and advertised it as the big MTV dick-grabbing, cross-dressing, tit-flashing, simulated interracial fucking halftime extravaganza, I would have been prepared.